So now I'm going to review the HANA photometer, which is a device we use to measure water quality parameters, including pH, total chlorine, and free chlorine in drinking water. First, you want to get your HANA kit from the FOSC and check the list on, of supplies that should be included in the kit. Uh, and then when you open the kit, these are you'll have instructions, you'll have a microfiber cloth, and these are your reagent packets. First, we're going to calibrate the instrument. You hit, you press the CalCheck button, and it asks you, the display reads zero, and you'll want to take the cuvette from the case that says zero and place it into the photometer. You'll want to turn, the, uh, turn it until the arrows line up and you feel a click. Now you hit zero with the zero calibration standard in the photometer. So this displays 0.00, .00 which means it's reading the zero pH accurately. And then you'll insert the pH spiked standard and again line the arrows up until it clicks and then press calcheck so this is displaying 7.1 which is within the range of the calibration for the ph now we'll press range to change to p2 so now that means we're going to calibrate the free chlorine measurement and we'll need the zero again. You press CalCheck, insert the zero again, and press zero. That's reading 0, 0.0. And then we take the free chlorine calibration standard. See it spiked? Line up the arrows and hit CalCheck. That's reading 1.00, which is accurate. I'll place that back into the container. Now I hit the range button. That will display P3, which means that's for measuring total chlorine. Oops. Again, I will hit CalCheck. It's asking for the zero. I line it up. I hit zero, that's reading 0, 0.0, so that's accurate. And again, we'll do the total chlorine, line the arrows up, and then hit CalCheck for total chlorine calibration. And that's reading 0 0.99, which is accurate. 1.00 is the calibration, that's within range. So our instrument is now ready to take to the field and for us to collect samples. So first we're going to sample for pH, measure pH in the tap water. So we've taken the first cuvette and filled the water to the 10 mil line. There's a white line there. Make sure to wipe the cuvette before you place it into the photometer. And you hit range to make sure that it displays P1, which means that's the reading for measuring pH. And then I press the zero button. I haven't added any reagent. It's just testing the zero for pH and that's reading 0, 0.00. We're wear I'm wearing gloves to make sure I don't leave fingerprints on the outside of the cuvette because that will bias the results because the functioning of the instrument shines a light through the outside of the cuvette. So I'm going to add five drops of pH reagent. One. You want to swirl it to mix it, but not necessarily shake too hard. You don't want to create bubbles that can bias the reading. And then you hit read. The pH is 7.7, .7, so I would note that in my field notes.
Next, we're going to measure uh, free chlorine. So again, we have another cuvette with 10 mils of uh, just water that we're measuring, tap water. Um, first, I wanna change the range to now it will display P2, which is the indicator for free chlorine. And so I need to make sure my cuvette lid is tight so that it will click when it's put into place. Yeah, now it's clicking in place. So I press zero and that's reading 0, 0.00. So now I'm going to add reagent for the free chlorine measurement. So you have free chlorine and total chlorine. So I'm gonna take the free chlorine reagent Check the expiration date, as with all field sampling. And then you want to use the scissors to cut the top of the packet. And they should be provided in your kit. And pour the reagent. This is where you'll want to swirl it and you don't want to shake it too much to create bubbles so you want it to be relatively well dissolved okay place it back in until it clicks and then hit hold down the button on this one and now it sets a timer for one minute and then analysis will run. So we'll have a result in about 50 seconds. Now it's reading 0, 0.00 on this sample. So there's no free chlorine in the water we just tested. But that's okay. Sometimes that is the case. It depends on the type of uh, chlorination in the water. Now we're going to test for total chlorine. So we have our 10 mils of water filled up to the white line. We have pressed range to select P3, which is the measurement for total chlorine. Turn it in till it clicks and then we'll hit zero. And that's reading 0, 0.00. Again, I'm wearing gloves so as not to leave fingerprints on the cuvette. Now I'm going to take a total chlorine reagent packet and add that to the cuvette. Try not to add bubbles. And then hold the button down until the timer starts and the analysis can begin again. Well, now we'll get our total chlorine measurement as it's reading 0 0.03, which is low total chlorine, that's our value. So that's how you use the HANA photometer to measure pH, free chlorine, and total chlorine.